Hey, Charles E's platform, man. Everything you need to know, when you need to know it, nigga. Shit, we're going to talk about the Nicki Minaj, Remy Ma shit. It's my second video. Should Nicki Minaj respond and what she should do? And our second little topic, we're going to talk about the Yo Gotti. Young Dolph ho shit, you feel me? But first, let's talk about that Nicki Minaj shit, man. Should Nicki respond? Some motherfuckers say she shouldn't respond. Hmm. I don't know. I think she should. She said she the queen. Of course, she could just not pay attention to the shit. <laughs> to the... To the sheath or shit. And shit. But would that make it go away? Or would that just compile shit? Would that make it even bigger? You feel me? Shit. You see what happened to Meek? Meek tried to ignore. He tried to ignore Drake. Drake was quote unquote the motherfucking. The mainstream guy. Meek was the street guy. You feel me? Shit, niggas thought that street shit was going to win out. But well, shit. Drake came with some shit. Drake came with some shit, man. And that was shit. That was a rap for Meek. It seemed like Meek wasn't even going to respond. He, he thought because he was a so-called street guy, he automatically got the credibility of the street and he would have won. But Drake got that motherfucking social media involved, man. And that turned out maybe to be the difference and shit. You feel me? So Nicki Minaj. So Nicki Minaj, since she responded to this shit, man. If you ask me, I gotta say she she, she gonna have to go ahead and, and and rent the OVO sweatshop from Drake, man. You feel me? Cause at this point you gotta assume Papoose. Is helping Remy Ma. You feel me? You gotta assume Papoose is helping Remy Ma. Shit. If if Pap is helping Remy, shit. That's a, man. That's a good look. Just don't tell nobody. But shit. That's husband and wife. So they can, you know, if some bars do sound like Pat Pentum, they can always be like, shit, we husband and wife, we around each other. Our swag rub off on each other. And they can easily get away with that, but. But for Remy Ma, it's, it's so much at stake. It's a lot at stake, man. This could be the, the the groundbreaking shit to take her career through the roof to the next level and shit. You feel me? So it's only right. You got to pull out all stops. If, if you have to fuck with Pap's pen, you might have to fuck with Pap's pen. But Nicki Minaj, she have to assume. She have to assume that Remy Ma is fucking with Pap's pen. And that's why I say... She got to go ahead and rent the OVO sweatshop for motherfucking Drake. She got to find every pen she can at this point if she's going to respond. You feel me? If she's going to respond. Fuck that. You, I mean, you know Pap is in there. You know Pap is... He might pin a line or two or whatever, man. You got you to gotta assume that Pap's pen is involved, Nikki. You feel me? If you do respond... Like I said, you gotta fuck with that OVO sweatshop, man. You gotta, you gotta dig in. Shit, for real. You got the social media and all that, man. Take advantage of that shit. Shit, you got some material to talk about if you, if you think and if you talk about it. Like I said, Remy Ma, all her big records, she's been a feature on them records. You feel me? All her big shit. It's shit to talk about there, man. You gotta think. You got to get some brains around yourself, Nikki. Real shit, man. This shit ain't just going to go away, man. This shit is on nighttime television, daytime television. Man, niggas talking shit about you, man. I mean, sorry. Niggas talking shit about you, Nikki. What the fuck you going to do? Can't just let this shit go away. If you say you the queen, it's time to roll your sleeves up, get dirty. You got to go back to South Jamaica, get that grind back, get them nails back dirty, pop them nails off, take them weeds off, put the Vaseline on the face, get busy. You feel me? 
you got to get busy, man. You got too comfortable. It kind of remind me of motherfucking Rocky and shit. You know, they was just, after Rocky won that big shit, they just scooted him along, putting him in the ring with tomato cans and shit. Until he came across a real challenger, you feel me, which was Mr. T. And Mr. T showed him how much, how much out of the motherfucking, uh, how much out of the situation, how much he was out of touch with the whole situation. You ain't that, you ain't that hungry champion no more. Nigga, you got to roll them sleeves up. Go back to South Jamaica, get busy, man. Put that Vaseline on the face, that DVD, Nikki. But can she do that? Can she do that? Like I said, we will see. But like I said, you got to rent the OVO sweatshop from Drake. Whatever you got to do, man. Hit Drake off with a shot of ass, money, whatever. You need some penmanship in your life. You need penmanship in your life, man. Y'all let me know what the fuck y'all think about that, man. Let me know what the fuck y'all think about that. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to this channel. I mean, I'm doing this shit for y'all. Subscribe to this channel, man. That brings us to our second topic. Young Dolphin Gotti. Gotti. Listen, man. If a nigga ain't fuck your baby mom, if it ain't no bloodshed or nothing, you got to ignore that nigga Dolph, bro. You up there with Hov now, bro. That's corporate. You ready to take your career to that next level, man. You got to cut all that shenanigans out. Black youngster doing that cooning. You got to pull real black youngster in from doing all that cooning bullshit. You feel me? Fuck it around. You got to tell that nigga, shut the fuck up real quick. You got to shut the fuck up. I need some hush time. Let me get this money elevated to the next level, man. He done did his shenanigans and shit, whatever. If you ain't going to drop no music, black youngster, get the fuck out the way. But don't be running around making beef, saying shit towards motherfuckers that's already established. Because like I said... He with Hove now. Hove had a lot of people in that room. A lot of important people in that room. And Gotti was one of them. You want to take your career to that next level. It's time to cut out them shenanigans, man. For real. Reel that nigga black youngster back in. Tell that nigga shut the fuck up. A no gag order or something. But he can't speak. You trying to take your career to the next level, my nigga. You feel me? That young dog shit is petty shit. That's local shit. You feel me? If some of your foot soldiers back in the hood want to handle that, that ain't really directly connected to you, then shit, let them ride. If you think that shit ain't going to come back on you, you feel me? But shit, that's all, man. That's all I really got to say, man. Young Dolph, you got to find out what went wrong. Who let them shots off at you, man? You got to find out. I hope it wasn't no publicity stunt, man. Real niggas don't move like that. Hope it wasn't no publicity stunt. But right now, you need to shut shit all the way down, lock the compound all the way up, and find out who let them shots off at your truck, man, if that shit really unfolded like that. That's real talk, man. So I'm just checking in. I'm letting motherfuckers know, man. Appreciate this comment. I'm bringing this shit live and direct. How only I can, nobody else can, man. The Charles East platform, subscribe, like, share this video, man. You only getting it here. What happens here only happens here. I'm doing it for y'all, man. Charles East platform, peace.